welcome to this stateless code video. Uh, in this video, we're going to be installing the Git distributed version control system on a uh, freshly installed copy of Ubuntu 24.04. So Git is a uh, distributed version control system, uh, and this is the uh, web page for it right here. Uh, distributed meaning that every single person who works on a repository can pull down and has a full copy of the repository. Um, it makes it very um, resistant to things like censorship. Uh, so if anybody has a copy of something, if uh, GitHub were to uh, decide to go all 1984 and sh shut you down, uh, you've got everybody who's working on a repository has a full copy and you can just host it somewhere else. Um, it's uh, the primary way that you, um, that developers today do uh, version control uh, and you can um, use this to essentially create save states of different versions of what you're working on. So if you've got multiple people working on a project uh, you create a new branch, you make your changes, and then you try to merge them back into the uh, the, the main branch that everybody's working from. Um, and it also allows you to have a, a save state kind of that you can fall back on if something messes up. Um, it um, You can, if you write good commit messages, you can have um, pretty good kind of documentation of what was changed and why and all of that. So uh, that's what we're doing today. Uh, this copy of Ubuntu 2404 does have Visual Studio Code installed on it. Um, in one of the setup steps, we're going to set that as the editor that is purely optional. I think by default, it will on Ubuntu use uh, VI or Vim uh, as your editor. Um, and you, you can choose whatever editor you like as long as it um, works. So uh, we'll get started here. Uh, in addition, we want to be able to, uh, beyond installing Git, be able to connect to GitHub and ideally get this sweet, sweet verified commit tag when you publish commits. So we'll be setting up a uh, a key so that you can connect to GitHub from the command line and then also a GPG signature so that you can sign your commits and have them show up as verified. Uh, what I'm going to wind up doing, this is kind of a throwaway situation, so I will kind of walk us through creating the, uh, the keys and all that and create the GPG signature and then I'm going to uh, get rid of them. So by the time you watch this video, the uh, items you see here will be long gone from my account and somebody watching this video on YouTube won't be able to use them to impersonate me. So the first thing we're going to do, um, and this is, um, let me just show that I am on a fresh copy. If I go git dash dash version, it will say git is not found, but can be installed uh, with uh, apt install git. We're going to need, in order to do secure credential storing here, we're going to need a few other uh, options here. So we're going to install, in addition to git, we're gonna uh, install make GCC, libsecret, libsecret dev, and um, so we're going to go into our terminal, control shift V to paste it in. This might take a moment, so I'm going to pause it. All right, so everything is installed now. Uh, while I was paused, my everything installed su successfully, but the UI server on my virtual machine crashed, so I had to restart it. Uh, and then I 
re-entered the command to make sure that everything was present. So now if I do git dash dash version, I have git installed. Uh, so the first things you need to do once you've got git installed are to do some configuration on it. So we'll do git config dash dash global user dot name and if you have a space in your name uh, you need to put quotes here Michael Dushman obviously for you you'll put your name get config dash dash global user dot email and that will be my github email and users dot And then we're also going to enable a um, an option here called re re re, which stands for uh, reuse recorded resolution. Uh, this comes in really handy if you're working with a bunch of branches and you resolve conflicts on one branch, and then you get the same conflicts when you try to um, resolve into another branch. It does slow things down a bit, which might make a difference on this virtual machine, but uh, for most cases running modern hardware, uh, it is worth it and you'll thank me later when you come into a situation where it is needed. So we're gonna edit that and then we will also do our, uh, our editor here, git config global or dot editor this will be code dash w now we're just gonna um, hello git cd into hello git we will do git init Okay, and then we'll touch launch VS code here. Yes, I trust the authors. I'm the authors. And we'll just do hello world. Hello world. Taxation is theft. Our standard stateless code. Hello world. Now we'll do a get status here. Um, not really going that far in depth into Git uh, for the purposes of just checking the installation. I might wind up doing a series later where I go into um, more depth on how to use Git, but for the purposes here, we're just gonna uh, create a commit here. Git add. And then we're going to do Git commit and it should launch VS Code here. And it does. One of the reasons why I like using VS Code here is that it gives you the um, the guides here for where to do a line wrap. So your first line should be uh, no more than 50 characters, and then you skip a line, and then you um, have something here. So uh, you 
usually I'd do something more descriptive and better, but for the purposes of this, it will serve the purpose of illustrating what we're doing here. See so git log, we've got the, um, the author and everything looking correct. Uh, but um, we, if I were to try to um, sign this, um, we'll get a GPG signing failed no secret key. So the next thing we need to do is set up a secret key so that we can sign our commits. Um, we've got commit signature verification here. Um, so we're going to use the option here of generating a new GPG key. I'm going to copy my GitHub email address with control shift C here in the terminal. And then gpg dash dash full dash generate dash key. Uh, actually, it looks like gpg, I'll find out my version here. Is 2.4.4 so it looks like full generate key won't work we're going to copy this second one and skip to step six so control C in the browser control shift V in the terminal this will match what I've got in get here Shift C, Control Shift V. Uh, hit OK. Set a fat passphrase. going to take this one anyway and now we've got our GPG key created here now see which version we need to use here. Okay. So it's after the This will be the format that we use here. And we want that to now B 
be our global signing key. So git config global user dot key. Now we should be able to do that. Um, oops, I did it wrong. And now we've got a signed commit. So it looks like we've got GPG set up correctly. Now we need to be able to set this up um, to work with our, um, to, to import it into GitHub. So we'll run that GPG armor command gpg dash dash armor dash dash export and we'll take this whole section here control shift c and now we're going to follow the instructions to add gpg key to GitHub accounts, we're going to go to settings, if anything is sensitive, I'll just blur it out here, settings, GP, SSH and GPG keys. New GPG key. Add it in. So now it should be available on GitHub. The next part we have to do is, um, like if we were to try to um, push uh, um, a commit to GitHub, we wouldn't be able to because we don't have uh, authentication with a key set up for that yet. So now uh, we had started this part here, but now we're going to compile the bi binary. So we're going to copy this command. So we've done that, and now we want to make that our credential helper. Now if we do, I'm going to use the cat command here, you should see user, email, signing key, re, 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 which we've done, core editor, and then uh, credential helper. Now we need to go back into GitHub and create a token here. go 
to password and authentication, I believe. repositories no developer settings personal access tokens we're going to go to tokens classic here and we're going to generate a new token for this purpose we're going to just do a classic token aggressive um, expiration here. I'm just going to choose repo, which should give us what we need here. Generate token. We will copy this. I'm going to throw it in an editor window here just so that it's available to us and now we're going to try to use that with the credential helper uh, libsecret to um, authenticate and sign in with github here so go back to github to stateless code, stateless code as the repo here. This is the organization profile um, that we use here. So we're going to copy the clone value here and we're going to get out of the hello git directory and we're going to do git clone Control shift v to paste it in and then I'm going to put a space here and I'm going to alias this so it's not stateless code dot git um, we'll say or repo so we're going to CD now into org repo status we're going to get switch dash C and hold on you probably can't see this hit clear to get back up on the terminal get switch dash C github demo and then going to copy that hello no. dot so now we've got that hello text get status get add hello dot txt clear so you can see again uh, now we're going to do another git commit dash s here and we're going to do create commit Save that, close that. Now we're going to 
copy that access token that we've got there. And then git push dash u origin, and we'll name it the same name here. All right, username. where we pass in the token and we've got a successful push if we go now into github demo we can see our new commit here and it has that sweet sweet verified tag so um, you can see it's a different key though than my usual one that I use. So um, now I'm gonna, uh, since this is just a throwaway commit, um, I'm just going to get push origin colon GitHub demo, which deletes the remote branch. shift properly here so now the remote branch should be gone no commits history and you can see that the the branch on the remote is gone so uh, that uh, resolves all of that so once you uh, kind of have the credential lib secret set up uh, and uh, do that, then you should be good. The other thing that you might want to do is signing commits. There is a git um, git config um, commit uh, dot gpg sign true. So if you want to always sign your commits you can add that to your git config now if we do the oops or you can do that at the repo level so um, that's for this repo and then if you wanted to do it globally you add the dash dash global here and I just went probably where you can't see that on the screen. So the two com commands I did were here and here. Now if I go and do the cat home directory dot git config, I've got these things done here and then commit gpg sign true uh, you can see there at the bottom so that uh, gets us set up as as much as we want to do that uh, part with the uh, vs code uh, if you want to install vs code we have a video of installing vs code on ubuntu 2024 or 24.04 um, and all of this should work if you are doing this on Windows using the Windows subsystem for Linux. We have a video where we show you how to install that. Um, all of this is pretty much the same. Uh, in addition to these setup and configuration videos, Stateless Code has a bunch of coding videos on various uh, languages and projects and all that with uh, more being created. So uh, give us a like and a subscribe and be on the lookout for more of our videos. Thanks. Code along on an end-to-end -end journey through the creation, design, and development of a Ruby on Rails application for managing tabletop role-playing games. We start from Rails New and will guide you along the journey of the entire lifecycle of the application. 
You'll get to see real life, real world problems and challenges as we try to deliver value for our users. Visit statelesscode.com to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.